this upcoming eclipse will be about 75 miles in diameter during this particular total eclipse. However, there have been a few annular eclipses, which annular eclipses are sort of like a total, total eclipse, although the moon is apparently a little bit smaller than the sun, so you get a ring around the obstruction, assuming the obstruction is the moon. So at any rate, um, during uh, a few in the last hundred years, uh, there have been a few annular eclipses which cast a shadow of totality which is about two miles in diameter. And the dates of those eclipses were January 3rd, 1927, May 20th, 1966, and May 9th of 1948. Now, one of the biggest problems with the heliocentric theory and eclipses, in my opinion, is the wildly varying size of the shadow cast by the eclipse. Also, the heliocentric theory relies upon the shadows of spherical bodies to cast a uh, convergent conical shapes which taper away from the object obstructing the source light as opposed to divergent conical shapes expanding away from the obstruction as we see with light and shadow in reality. Um, in reality, the shadow of a certain cross-section of an object will either be as large as or larger than said cross-section of the object. Um, if the object is hypothetically a sphere, then any time that object obstructs a light source, it will always uh, represent a consistent cross-section, as opposed to, say, a rectangular object, which would cast a varied shape of shadows depending on the cross-section of it, which is obstructing the source light. So, in other words, a sphere will always cast a perfectly circular-shaped shadow, regardless of the angle of light uh, which the object is transiting. Now, I'm not saying that a sphere is the only thing which will always cast a circular shadow, as we can see on these water bugs, where they rest their tiny little legs on the surface of the water, and that surface tension causes uh, perfectly circular indentations or dips in the water, and those dips in water often cast very dark, uh, very well-defined and persistent shadows. Uh, so again, uh, spheres will always cast circular shadows, but 